Today we're going to look at how to preserve prime marks. Prime marks are impression evidence. The tool leaves an impression of itself in an object that you're looking at. So perhaps a, a window, I put my screwdriver in the window and I pry that window open or a door or something like that and you're left with pry marks. How are we going to preserve those? Because once we have that and we find our suspect and maybe they have a tool on them, we wanna be able to compare the tool to the pry mark. So first let's look at how I created the um, pry marks on what we're gonna work on today. I just took a piece of any piece of wood and you can see the cutout here. So what I did is I put my screwdriver here and then I just hit this piece with a hammer. This one I didn't hit hard enough, so I ended up making another one. And then I just did the same with my screwdriver. I put a screwdriver in, and then I just mashed it with a hammer. So that way I have two different types of pry marks. Now that we have our piece of wood with our pry marks in it, we need to preserve that. We're going to use two different products to do that today. We're going to use Microsil which is very common, very popular, and it comes in different colors because you can also use this for fingerprint development. And we're also going to use uh, Silmark. There's a, a another brand, Accutrans, which is very similar. It's gonna look the same and operate the same. I prefer the Silmark because it's a little bit less expensive, but all of these will work just fine. First, let's look at Microsil. So the Microsil, going to come in uh, different colors depending on what you want. If you're using this, you could process fingerprints um, and you'd, again, you'd want to use the opposite color of the powder. And Microsil is going to come in two different tubes. You're going to have the Microsil itself. This is the larger tube. Uh, it's going to come in whatever color. This happens to be brown. And then it's also going to come with a tube of hardener. So you're going, oops, you're going to have both of these. Now, um, you also need a mixing stick, a little mixing stick, because this is how we're going to process this. I'm actually gonna just use this backing card because I was unprepared, and let's see. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the cover, and I'm going to put a line of micro sill down. going to put the cover on that. I'm going to put a line of the hardener, the same length. You're going to see that it's a different uh, thickness, but I'm going to put the same length of hardener down like this. Give it a little bit more. I'm just going to put my cover on there. This is I don't prefer the micro sill to be honest with you. That's why uh, I'm showing it first because I don't like doing this part. I don't want to have to do the mixing and the consistency and making sure that it's uh, mixed properly. Uh, the final product will be very good. It will uh, harden up and be just fine. Um, but I don't prefer it. Uh, but I had I did doing a class down in South Carolina, and uh, I had the head of there. Uh, forensic department and they per preferred this method so it's each of their own so now that I have my micro sill look I'm going to take that micro sill and I'm going to push that into my prime mark just like this and now I'm just going to leave that I'm going to let that dry why I don't like the micro sill as much is because I have a mess to clean up I don't want to have a mess to clean up um, I should have worn my gloves for that. But that's the micro sill. We're gonna let this dry. While we let this dry, we're gonna use the sill mark. So let's put that down. Now the sill mark comes with a, an extruder gun. You're going to put this uh, slide in. It only fits in one way, so it's easy enough. There we go. It only goes in one way like this, so it won't go in like that. You're going to put that in. Now these are used carts. I've used them a couple of times. Not a big deal. You're gonna uh, be able to seal them up and reuse them again. There's a little notch on the back. Locks it in. Boom, now we're good to go. Now the secret to the micro, uh, sorry, to the uh, sill mark 
is this. This is a self mixing tip. So I'm going to take off the old tip, put in the new one. It clicks on, it only goes on one way. Now that's there. Now, as I pull the, um, the handle, you're going to see it's mixing as it moves up to the top. Okay, boom. Now that that comes out, I'm going to push this into my Primark. And again, this works really great for uh, fingerprints as well. And I'm just making sure I'm pushing it into the Primark so that it gets all of those details. Boom. Now it's done. I'm going to let these dry. Uh, I'll come back in like five minutes. They'll be dry and then I'll peel them off and show you um, the results that I got. So I waited about five minutes uh, and this stuff is solid. Okay, you can see that it's solid now. And the same with the microsill. Okay, it's solid. So let's uh, pull those up and then compare and see what we got. All right, so here is, again, these are dry. Let's look at close. First, we're gonna look at the microsill. So I'm gonna peel this off like this. And now look, you can see the mark from the tool mark. And then this one here, here's my impression from the flathead screwdriver. You can see, I'm trying to get the shadow so you can see that it came out okay. Okay, looks pretty good. So what you would do is this is your sample because this, this piece might get destroyed. And so then you would measure the piece that you developed against the suspected tool that you found. Okay, so here it is again, what we have. Now I'm going to show you the sill mark here. Okay, again, solid. I'm gonna peel that off. It's in there pretty good. There we go. Now, again, different color, but look, you can see that detail. I did two of them because I didn't think the first one came out really great. Um, so I made another impression, but those look really good. So let's look at them side by side here. Those look fantastic. And again, I would measure these against my actual tool to see if they're a match. So now I have both pieces. Um, again, I told you that they're going to be some, oops, I just ripped that one. They're gonna be similar consistency. Um, the sill mark is a little bit sturdier, uh, but they're gonna give you very detailed impressions. Again, why I enjoy the sill mark better than the micro sill is because of the mess, because of the mess. When I use the sill mark, it's in the tube. Once it's done, oops. Once it's done, I just take it off. I leave the tip on here and you can see this one still has a little bit in it and I'll just reuse it. Um, the one that I was using here, I just reuse it. You just need to replace the tip. So I actually uh, enjoy the sill mark better. Um, I think it gives you a better product, but you can see that this is uh, a great way to preserve the detail in Primarchs.